hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is assign cookies in this question we are given two integer arrays g and s g stands for the greed array and s stands for the cookies array so greed array is the greed factor of every child so every child has a greed factor so the length of the g length is equal to the number of children so g of i represents the minimum size of a cookie that the child will be happy with and each cookie has a size j which is represented in the s array so if s of j is greater than or equal to g of i if the cookie size is greater than or equal to the greed of the child then that cookie can be assigned to that child and our task is to maximize the number of children and output that number we have to make sure that the maximum number of children get cookies and one important condition is that each child is given at most one cookie so one cookie max per child so let's take the first example and this is the important condition we have to check so i have to assign the least possible size of the cookie to the least greed of the child so it is important for us to sort the array in ascending order in this example the array is already sorted so 1 2 3 will become 1 2 3 itself we also have to sort the cookies array so 1 comma 1 will be sorted in ascending order and we get 1 comma 1 so imagining that after sorting these are the array elements so we assign two pointers this is the child pointer and this is the cookie pointer we iterate both the arrays from left to right both starting from the 0th index so we are using the child pointer to iterate through the g array and we are using the cookie pointer to iterate through the s array now we check if the cookie size is greater than or equal to the greed of the child which is also 1 yes so increment child child is 1 now so move child forward this cookie has already been assigned to this child so we need to increment cookie 2 now we check if the cookie size is greater than or equal to the greed of the child which is 2 no so you can't assign this cookie to this child as this cookie is of no use for this child obviously all the rest of the children cannot be assigned this cookie because they are sorted in ascending order so if this cookie is not used or is useless so you can increment that cookie now cookie is 2 which read which exceeds the size of the new and the iteration and wherever child is present so child is present as index 1 so that will be the output which is the expected output here now let's implement these steps in a java program so this is the greed array and this is the children's array so i'm sorting both the arrays in ascending order and then assigning the two pointers to iterate through the children and cookie so children pointer will be used to iterate through the g array and cookie pointer will be used to iterate through the s array now i'm using a while loop where cookie will be iterating until it's less than length that is from starting to end so here cookie is there it will iterate from 0 to end and here child is there which will iterate from 0 to end so i'm checking the boundaries until when those pointers should iterate and then i'm checking this condition which is mentioned that if s of i is greater than or equal to g of i only then we increment the child pointer which means we are assigning that uh, cookie to that child if that is not the case we only increment that cookie and finally outside the for loop we return whatever is present inside the children pointer so wherever child pointer is pointing to that will be the output in this case it will point to index 1 so 1 is the output so time complexity of this approach is o of n log n because we are sorting the array in ascending order where n is the length of the longer array and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video